He has blazing speed to cover the court. His serves are like a rocket launcher, and with his 6 foot 4 length, he can reach any ball. At just 22 years old, this Canadian's mind is as finely tuned as the engine of a luxury sports car. Yes, the rise of Felix Oje Aliassime has been remarkable, and unlike a Cinderella story, the kid has earned it. In this video, we look at the top 10 things about Felix Auger Aliassime's early life, career, lifestyle, and net worth. Number 10. Early Life Auger Aliassime was born in Montreal and raised in La Cien Lorette, a suburb of Quebec City. Felix's father, Sam Aliassime, was born and raised in Togo, a small nation in West Africa. Sam grew up admiring the tennis stars of the 80s and 90s, flipping through whatever magazines he could get his hands on and transfixed by the few matches he could find on TV. In 1999, Sam emigrated to Montreal and settled with his wife, Marie Auger, a teacher. The couple produced a daughter named Malika in 1998, and shortly after, Felix came along in 2000. Sam and Marie limited screen time for Felix and Malika, who were encouraged to play outdoors. Felix developed a love for tennis. He stated, I picked it up quickly. It was always tennis, tennis, tennis. After school, the siblings would accompany their father to the courts. At times, Sam would give them lessons, but they would just hit balls at each other. At 10 years old, Felix won the Canadian Under-12 Indoor Nationals. At 11, he won an international tournament for 12-year-olds held in Allray, France. Yes, the rise of Felix Auger Aliassem in tennis is no Cinderella story. The kid has earned it. Number 9. Career so far. At age 14, Felix joined Tennis Canada's National Tennis Center where he began working with his first coach, Guillaume Marx, and Tennis Canada's stable of instructors. Felix quickly earned the reputation for his intense practices, his determined grunts once again echoing through the facility, just like when he was a child. In 2015, Felix had a memorable start to his junior career by winning four junior tournaments. At a tournament in Granby, Quebec, at age 15, he became the youngest men's player to win an ATP Challenger. In 2016, Felix captured the 2016 Junior US Open and was a finalist at the French Open. In two years, Auger Alassine went from a promising prospect to the number two ranked junior singles player. In June 2017, at the Open de Lyon, Felix turned pro and captured his maiden ATP Challenger. He became the first 16-year-old to win a Challenger singles title since Bernard Tomic in 2009 and the seventh young player in history. At the end of the season, he climbed into the top 200 after winning his second ATP Challenger title at Copa Sevilla. In 2018, Felix successfully defended his title in Lyon and made steady progress by making it to six finals between 2019 and 2020. In 2021, Felix started to enjoy success by making two more ATP finals, making it to the Wimbledon quarterfinals and the semifinal of the US Open. In 2022, Felix is enjoying a breakout season as the ATP Cup champion and winning four titles. He advanced to a major quarterfinal and grabbed two wins over the world number one. Felix is now the second youngest player ranked in the top 10 by the ATP and has a career high singles ranking of number eight in the world on October 30th, 2022. Yes, Felix is one of the sport's rising stars and there is still untapped potential within the tall, slender Canadian frame. Number eight, endorsement. Between 2017 and 2020, Auger Alassine was decked out in Nike when he reached the sixth ATP Finals and climbed the rankings. In January 2021, Felix signed an undisclosed multi-year contract with Adidas. He's been playing with the Bobolot racket since his junior days, but is currently using older generation Bobolot Pure Aero VS based on the Aero Storm mold. The Pure Aero VS frame is also used by Carlos Alcaraz and Holger Rune, albeit they use the 2020 version, which is a slightly different build. Another sponsor for Auger Alassime is Tag Heuer. Swiss luxury watchmaker added Felix Auger Alassime as its brand ambassador in 2019. Tag Heuer has an impressive list of young tennis players on its roster, including Hyun Chung, Francis Tiafo, and Denis Shapovalov. Felix's endorsements is projected to skyrocket as his climb to the top continues. Number 7. Earnings and Net Worth As of October 31st, 2022, According to ATPTour.com, Felix Auger Alassime has enjoyed a 53-24 record in 2022. Felix also captured four ATP titles this season and has led to earnings of over $3.1 million. However, in his career, Felix has a 153-100 record, leading to $8.5 million. According to reports, Felix Auger Alassime is worth a cool $3 million. As they say, boys and girls, hard work pays off. Number 6. 
idolizes Roger Federer. In almost every field, there is someone that proved to be the benchmark and the example for young players to follow. For Felix Auger Alassime, the guy he idolized was Roger Federer. In June 2021, Felix Auger Alassime defeated his idol, Roger Federer, to progress to the quarterfinals in Halle. The 20-year-old Canadian Auger Alassime battled back from a set down to beat Federer 4-6, 6-3, 6-2. In the post-match, he stated, It's amazing. An amazing win. I for sure didn't expect this. Of course, I come into the match trying to win, but Roger was my idol like many of us growing up. First off, it was a huge honor to play him before he retired, and to beat him is something amazing that I have with me. I will cherish it as a great moment for me, and hopefully, I can continue in the tournament. Interestingly, Phoenix was born on August 8, 2000, exactly 19 years after Federer. Maybe I should have been born on August 8th to become an elite tennis player. Just saying. Number five, picked up Scrabble during quarantine. Ajay Alassim spent time with his family in Montreal during the challenging period. Like every other human being, COVID lockdown caused Phoenix to have a lot of free time on his hands. Felix used the time to write to update his fans and encourage them during tough times. Also, Ajay Alassim revealed that he took up Scrabble while staying home with his family. He stated, my sister beat me by one point the last time we played, and that was pretty frustrating. Even though I'm not on the court, I need to find a way to be competitive in some part of my life. Auger Alassim wrote, I beat my mom by a few points the other day, so the games have been pretty tight. It's been a lot of fun. What's not to love about the man enjoying his family time, right? Number four, soccer skills. In addition to being a tennis prodigy, Felix is not too shabby at playing soccer. Felix and Carlos Alvarez put on a little exhibition show in Barcelona that showcased his skills. He admitted to being nervous because I'm in Barcelona, so I couldn't show up and look horrendous. Carlos being Spanish, I'm sure he played as a kid. He's very skilled. I did play a little bit, but of course, it's not our specialty as Canadians. But it went well. We were able to do a couple tricks and it was fun. Also, during a rain delay in 2015, he showed fans that he could juggle using a tennis ball. Those are nifty skills, maybe you could have a second career and play in the World Cup. Nah, stick to tennis, right? Number three, musician skills. Ali Asim has a passion for piano. He plays regularly and is a musical talent when he's not on the road. The piano has been a passion of his ever since he was seven, and he thinks it can help him decompress and challenge his mind off the court. In 2019, he stated on the topic, for the fans and people that follow me, it's cool to see someone do something other than just tennis. It's a big passion of mine. I've always played. I started at seven years old. Getting back to my parents' house in Montreal and playing was a little bit of fun, and I obviously like to share it sometimes. I'm not a big performer. I don't like to perform, but I always like to play. It's something I do as a hobby. Auger Alassim says he approaches the piano the same way he plays tennis. Practice a lot, and then let the instinct take over. Yes, that is the winning formula for life. Ain't that the truth? Number two. Philanthropist. In February 2020, Auger Alassim announced that he would donate $5 for every point he wins in the season to EduChange. In the process, Felix partnered with CARE to support the protection and education of children in Togo, his father's homeland. BNP Paribas donated $15 for every point Auger Alassim wins. In making the decision, he stated, I feel very lucky to have had a hugely satisfying career so far, but I think it's time to bring more meaning to it beyond tennis. This year, all my winning points count. A young man, but with a big heart. Number one, smoking girlfriend. Felix Auger Alassim is dating the stunning Croatian equestrian Nina Gaby. In March 2021, the gorgeous brunette and Canadian tennis phenom celebrated their second anniversary and posted it on Instagram. Nina has over 9,000 followers on Instagram, but that number will likely increase following her boyfriend's recent success. Nina Gaby is a cousin of Ayla Tomljanovic who once dated Matteo Berrettini. Ironically, Felix met Berrettini at the 2021 Wimbledon quarterfinal, with the latter prevailing in a tough four-set match. The two couples spent time together as the men traveled the world playing the game they love. Yes, Felix Alcim leads a humble lifestyle, he has a smoking Croatian girlfriend, and with his talent and work ethic, he is poised to achieve greatness in tennis. What do you think about the meteoric rise in lifestyle of Felix Alcim? Do you think he has the potential to win his first Grand Slam next season and be future world number one? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.